Well, the law seems clear. Zero tolerance for anyone who smokes marijuana and drives while under the influence. But in practice, enforcement itself is impaired because there's no instant roadside test available as there is with alcohol. Researchers are racing to change that, among them two British Columbia men. CTV's Vancouver Bureau Chief Melanie Nagy reports. Hi, we're checking your drinking drivers tonight. At a police roadblock, a breathalyzer helps detect drunk drivers. But what about marijuana consumption? Can similar technology be used to stop people who drug and drive? If you ask Cal Malley... We believe breath testing for drug use is going to be the future. And his business partner, Dr. Raj Ateriwala, the answer is yes. We can actually detect um, THC reliably within a few hours. They we say they've developed a handheld breath monitor that can determine whether someone has smoked or ingested pot. Cannabis provides instantaneous results. The device functions like an alcohol breathalyzer. A breath sample is taken, tested, and results are immediate. It's said to detect pot use within a two-hour range. The feedback from law enforcement has been just like, just give us a tool to help us. The law is clear. It's illegal to smoke marijuana and get behind the wheel of a car. But in practice, police have few tools to crack down on offenders. Well, certainly that is the challenge. With alcohol, we do have a set standard. Without that set standard and a set device to test for those levels, uh, it's difficult to have that clear line. Police now rely on urine, blood and saliva samples to confirm pot use. But those tests take time, can be inaccurate, and tend to result in tough court battles. Judges are not finding that the police officers uh, generated the evidence or got the evidence out of the person to such an extent that you could conclude that they were impaired. Several police departments across North America have already expressed interest, but there's still a lot of work to do before it hits the market. We need to do clinical trials to have it medically published that it is an accurate device. It also has to be accepted as a court-certified device. Despite that, the goal is to make pot breathalyzers a roadside reality come 2016. Melanie Nagy, CTV News, Vancouver.